What's up YouTube, and Zero here, and I have an opening that I have never opened before. I have never opened Destructive War, War because at first the clans were not that appealing to me, but with the new stuff coming out later this year, uh, the, the, the Aeon one, whatever it's called, the one with the same with these clans, but with Shadow Paladin in it as well. Uh, might as well just open uh, Tachikaze, Spike Brothers, and Meg Colony because I actually never owned those ones yet, except from the festival collection. And you can kind of consider this as a filler arc, like a filler video, until uh, more new stuff comes out. Oh, yeah, and I have two. I'm opening two boxes, by the way. So, uh, yeah, I've never opened this set, so. Hopefully we can get stuff like, I don't know, draw trigger PGs and stuff. The old art uh, gifts with one, one of the VRs on it. So, so yeah, I've, I haven't opened this set before. I know it's, I know pre people don't appreciate really old stuff, but uh, you know, with new stuff coming out, it's always good to do a throwback. To me, it's not a throwback, but you understand the point, though. So, yeah, I'm not going to read them out, though. Maybe the rares. Because I've never, I don't, this is like the first time owning, like, these clans. So, High Speed Rocky, Phantom Black. So, yeah. Because my goal for uh, Vanguard, or like Vanguard in general right now, is essentially uh, Stronghold Dragons, Robust Stops, and Gyro Slinger. Okay, that's our first double rare. Uh, essentially is to make one deck, at least one deck of every clan. And I don't have any, of, I don't own cards for any of these clans, so it's a nice little treat for me. Didn't know that was a starter. Uh, black, or Treasured Black Panther. And Spiteful Hopper. This, is a this was the first extra booster for the V-Series. Uh, Phantom Black. And our VR is Ravenous Dragon Gigarex pretty cool. I believe uh, Tachikaze is uh, kind of a weird mechanic of, uh, of a quip gauge kind of thing. Sticky rares. Savage King and Death Warden Antlion for a double rare. This set's fairly cheap now. I got mine for 20 bucks. Did take me like two months to get it, but yeah. Commander Gary Gannon and Illusional Mutant Dazzle Moth. High Speed Brocky and Tyrant Death Rex, which is a pretty cool looking triple rare. Okay. Attempt Mammoth. And Sonic Noah for rare. It's pretty cool. I like dinosaurs. I just just not a fan of the playstyle of this particular dinosaur clan. Uh, 
Wing Dragon Skype Terra, and Machining Stag Beetle, which is pretty cool looking. Wonder Boy and Bloody Hercules. Uh, Vicious Claw Lacerex and uh, Draw Trigger PG uh, Cheer Girl Marilyn, which is pretty cool. I think that's the last hollow of the set. Black hollow of this box, at least. Uh, cheer girl Jamie and Water Gang. It's pretty good. So that's a, uh, I got a draw trigger PG. That's pretty awesome. So next box. So yeah, this is just a filler until new stuff comes out. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy a lot of. Silver Dust or sil Silver Dust Blaze because I gone on the Triple Sleeve TCG website and bought a bundle of just the clans. I'll open it just for the Cogro, but I'm not gonna open that much mini boxes of it. Probably at most two because it's gonna be it's a popular it's gonna be a popular set and it's gonna go up in price. Especially with Pandemic, it's like, this is, they're finally releasing stuff, so they can, people are gonna overcharge it. Especially online stores. Uh, Bloody Hercules, and another Ravenous Dragon Gigarex, in a, the same VR. And it was in the first pack. So there's our VR. All we can hope for is, uh, like, an SVR or something, maybe like an SP. Wonder Boy and Bloody Hercules. It's a cool looking draw trigger. Vicious Call Dragon Lacerex and Death Warden Antlion. Another Wonder Boy and Juggernaut Maximus, which looks really cool looking for a Spike Brother card. And that is a triple rare. Cheer Girl Jamie and Water Gang. Probably pronounce a different way, but that's how I'm reading it. Attempt Mammoth and another Tyrant Death Rex, which looks really cool. Again. And so far, all my hollows have been grade threes in this box, which is impressive. I'm okay with that. Wing Dragon Skype Tarot and Sonic Noah. I also got that in the previous box. Uh, feel free to drop a draw trigger PG. That would be nice. Can't get enough of them except for four. That would be considered enough. High Speed Braca and Phantom Black.
Okay, Stronghold Dragon Robust Stops. And another Cheer Girl Marilyn. Which is I'm okay with because I still don't have a playset. And I think that's the one more. One more hollow. Now be it. Commander Gary Gannon. And Delusionist Mutant Dazzlemoth. Treasured Black Panther and Spiteful Hopper. Alright, last pack. I think this might have a hollow in it. A Savage King and Machining Hornet, which is pretty cool. I heard this was a good card, so. So, yeah, that's it for this opening. I got. Uh, doubles of a lot of things. I got two two draw trigger PGs. The same VR. Uh, another uh, Death Rex, which is pretty cool. More antlions and the rest of this stuff, which is alright. Uh, these two are probably the coolest things. I think, at least. So uh, yeah, uh, sorry if, if if you didn't like this. I apologize. I'm just trying to fill in time or something. Just fill in some more videos because uh, just playing the waiting game for new sets. You know, I mean, I opened the festival thing and that jumped in price because there's stuff like the the mains. Uh, at some point, I'll probably do deck profiles. I just usually don't have the time to do that because it's a lot of explaining and most people don't like builds that other people have made if it doesn't win or they blame them for not winning or whatever so I'm still throwing that idea out in the air but yeah this is considered like a filler episode kind of thing so um, thanks for watching be sure to hit like comment and subscribe to the channel if you want. Uh, you can always catch me on twitch.tv slash n0 underscore x. So, uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>